Hello um, everyone, how are you guys doing? So this video is going to be something that I definitely want to do on my channel and I know that my life basically is supposed to be used as a testimony and as a visual a visual testimony as well onto how God is and how God works in our lives and so there's just so much knowledge and so much about me that for years okay for years I have just kept in and I've allowed the enemy to close my mouth I've allowed the enemy to I've allowed the enemy in my life way too much to the point where I was I felt lost even though I knew my purpose and I knew who I was in Christ I wasn't doing what I needed to do in order to walk in that and I'm just so thankful because now now I feel more ready than ever and I know it's God and I know it's God telling me it's time this is time I have when I started my YouTube channel, this is just a little bit of a backstory. If you want to skip through this until when I start talking about the actual topic, then um, go ahead and do that. Um, I'll list below when is exactly when I start talking about the topic. But if you guys are interested in knowing how I got to this point, because this is my first spiritual video, then continue watching. So basically, um, for years, I have had in my heart to start a YouTube channel so that I can reach people because... I know, you know, the word says that we ought to go out and make disciples, but it's so hard, you know, just being a busy person, you know, with work, just with being a wife or being a mom or being a dad or just your life in general is just so busy. And that's what the enemy does. He just packs our life up with so much that we think that we don't have time to do what God calls us to do. But in reality, we do have the time. It's what we prioritize. And so I, in my heart knew like I can make videos and I can reach people without having to go out because I literally physically sometimes cannot so this is something that I'm finally 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 getting to and I'm just so thankful about it and um and we're gonna get on with the topic um because it's gonna be deep so let's go ahead and start praying first before we get in. Lord, I thank you for this day, Father. I thank you for this very moment right here. Lord, I ask right now that anything that is in my heart that may be coming from my own opinion, Father, from my own emotions and feelings, Lord, right now that I be subject, Lord, to your thoughts, to your will, my God, to what you want me to say and speak, Lord, that you may use me as a vessel, as a tool to speak to your people right now, whoever may be watching this video, my God. And I pray, Lord Jesus, that everything that comes out of my mouth, Lord God, may penetrate, Father, each and every person that is listening and each and every person, Lord, that is tuned into what I'm saying, my God. Lord, I thank you so much, and in Jesus' name I pray, amen. Okay, so today's topic is going to be why keeping your virginity is something very, very, very important that is taken so lightly in this generation past generations just is taken so lightly period um and given the fact that nobody's perfect i'm not saying anybody's perfect but my my purpose here is to shed some advice to shed some light on certain situations and that's exactly what i'm going to do i'm not here to condemn anybody who has done anything god loves us all regardless god saves all but this is me speaking to those who are struggling right now okay and you are a virgin. You do have that aspect of you that is so, you have no idea how great it is to be holding on to that, okay? And I just want to put this video out there because it's just something that was on my heart and I know that people need to hear this, okay? Um, and even people, if you're not a virgin, if you have committed some type of sexual act with someone who isn't your husband or anything this video will help you as well so don't think that you're exempt from this word so <clears throat> when i was a little girl i was never really and i'm guys don't mind the headphones i'm just not, actually let me just take them off because just so i can focus here um when i was a little girl i was never someone who was told about soul ties you know told about fornication i knew about sex outside of marriage 
but the only thing that was told to me was that it's wrong. There was no one to sit me down and say, this is why it's wrong with the word of God. This is why you shouldn't do it. This is the effects that it will have on your life. Okay. So the things, the thing is that when you're a virgin, that aspect of you, that is supposed to be saved. And I have my tablet here because we're going to look up some definitions in a bit. Which actually, let's look up what the definition of a soul tie means. Okay, so the definition of a soul tie that I have here is a spiritual and emotional connection you have to someone after being intimate with them, usually engaging in sexual intercourse. Okay, and this is not just, I'm going to be real in this video because this is what people need. This is what my young generation needs. So I'm going to be real in this video, okay? Um, to the point... That when you want to get rid of them from your mind and from your life, even when you are far away from them, out of their presence, you still feel there is a part of you that is connected to that person. Okay? That is a soul tie, you guys. That is a soul tie. And ultimately, we know that the enemy does not honor marriage. We know that the enemy could give a crap about marriage. Why? Because that is a covenant that God created. God created a marriage to be honorable by all. And so the enemy, what does he do? He tries to ruin everything that God tries to bring in to be holy, to be good, which he can never fully be effective at. But if we think about it, look at all of these, look at this generation period, the music, okay? And I'm guilty of some, I'm, I, I'm not even going to lie. The Lord has been convicting me about music because what was the enemy? The minister of music. Music is his thing. He knows how to get you right. He knows how to get you in tune with the beat, in tune with the words, okay? Music, the generation that is coming up, this music, these videos, just everything that is coming out is being used to influence our generation into thinking that sex and, 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 and it, that sex outside of marriage is okay. And given, okay, you guys, I want to repeat this again because I'm saying this out of love. If you have had sex outside of marriage, it's okay. It was a sin. You repent from it and you move forward. Okay. It's not okay to keep doing it, but it does have negative effects and consequences. Okay. When you, when you have sex with someone, okay, the Bible describes it as you become one with this person. Okay. And when you become one with this person, okay, their generational curses now become your generational curses. Okay, the things that they struggle with, whether it was lust, whether it was insecurities, whether it was fits of rage, whatever they struggled with becomes your in, in tune with you as well. Okay, and the only one who can who can just rebuke all that, excuse me, not rebuke all that, but the only one who can completely and 100 percent take that away is God. The only one, okay? That's why I say it's, it, if you have encountered and had these situations, you can still be saved. You can still be renewed. You can still be who God wants you to be regardless of your mistakes. But my, my goal in this video is to really, really, really get these people, these women, okay, and men who have that aspect of it. And they are just going with the wind because this generation is just, you get pushed and you get back and forth and you don't know what to stand on stand on this okay whatever you do whatever every sin you commit outside of the body but sexual sin you commit to the body okay the word says says that and tells us that and so when you think about it when you are becoming one with all these other people that's just baggage upon baggage that you're putting on yourself okay you're putting all of this baggage on yourself and at the end of the day, you have to deal with that baggage. And then think about it when, when people who have had multiple, okay, multiple sex encounters with people outside of marriage. Think about you're, ha you're now one with everyone that they have had sex with, okay? So it's just a lot that goes into it. It's a lot that goes into it. And the virginity and sex was meant to be safe for marriage, honorable in marriage, okay? And that's its purpose. Its purpose is for marriage. Why? Because this world, the flesh, is like, do what do what you want. What makes you feel good at the moment, right? But 
if you really think about it, a lot of people are out here having tons of sex, going to going to clubs, shopping, spending money. A lot of times people are even abusers, okay? They're abusers. They hit women, they rape, they just any any sin that you can think of. Why? Because they're all trying to fill some kind of void that only Jesus Christ can fill. Now, it's the same thing with sex. People people use sex to try to fill something in them that is empty. And I just want you to know right now, if you are a virgin and you think that having sex is going to make you feel like a man, like a woman is going to fix all your issues, is going to make you feel high and mighty, listen, okay? Listen to my words. Listen to my words. Go to the Bible and look and research on how precious it is to wait until marriage to have sex. A lot of times marriages also fail because of the relationships and all the sex that was had outside of marriage. Because see, the enemy wants you to do those things outside of marriage. When you're not married, that, that temptation comes in a jiffy. But when you're married, it's a different story. The enemy doesn't honor sex. He doesn't want sex in the marriage because why? Sex in the marriage was supposed to be to unite, okay? To make the couple one, to, bond, to make that bond between that couple, to be that bond between that couple. So the enemy does not honor or care for marriage. He doesn't honor or care for marriage, but he, he doesn't honor and care for, for sex in a marriage at all. But all the sex can be had outside of a marriage. Guys, I know that it's it, it can be very hard, especially when we're living in this world. But we have to also think about how our daily lives are. If you are someone who just doesn't believe in God or if you're someone who doesn't feed yourselves of the things of God, then you're not going to possibly you're not going to possibly be able to to fight the temptations, okay? Because God is our fighter. He is the one who fights for us. There has not been one temptation that God cannot deliver you from, okay? But if you are not in tune with God, then you're left with your own vulnerable self. And that's where all these sins come in is just a lack of knowledge, of ignorance, a lack of seeking God, okay? And that's where we make the most mistakes is just the lack of knowing who God is and the lack of getting to know him and how he wants us to live our lives, okay? When he wants us to do certain things. Literally in the Bible, it tells you everything. It's us. It's literally there, guys. It's there. It's there, okay? how he wants you to live your life, education, relationships, okay? The spiritual realm, heaven, hell, anxiety, depression, sex, marriage, everything, being a mother, being a father, everything is in the word of God. It is literally our, it, it should be our go-to. And when it's not our go-to, that's when the enemy has, has the power to come into our lives and take that spot that God should have. In our lives and that's where a lot of these sins come in okay I want to encourage you guys if you are someone who is interested in going further into this topic with me I live I literally do not mind I want to speak to you guys I want to reach a people okay I want to reach people I want people to know that it is possible the things that you're seeing in this world you do not have to be conformed to you do not have to be like this world. As a matter of fact, the Bible says that we are to be set apart. Okay, we are to be set apart. That means when somebody looks at me, there's something different. There's just something that is, they can't pinpoint it. They can't see exactly what it is. But there is something in that individual that sets them apart from this world. And that is what God calls us to be. He calls us to help one another and he calls us to live like him. Okay, and so if you guys, if you're someone who wants to talk further about this topic with me, then I will list my Instagram down below and you guys are welcome to go and DM me on Instagram in regards to this topic. I would love to talk to you guys about it. Um, I don't want to make this video too long as it is my first video and I just feel it in my spirit right now to just end up the end the video um, soon here and go pray. So, but I do want to let you guys know that I love you guys so much. God loves you guys so much, okay? He loves you guys so, so, so much. And I want you guys to know that soul ties are real. Whoever you lay in bed with, you tag along everything that they have. Everything, all of the baggage. 
You don't know what people are dealing with. And even if you can say, well, I love this person. This is the person I'm going to marry. This is the person I'm going to be with. Okay, if God has confirmed to you, okay, this is going to be your husband. Okay, but you should still wait because in that aspect, you're honoring God. And there is always a reason why God's will is there. There is always a reason why God says do this or don't do this. And trust me, you do not want to be on the side where you're not doing what God has called you to do. Because it is going to make, it is going to have a deep effect in your life. If God is saying don't do something and you do it, guaranteed that it is going to have some kind of negative effect in your life. Okay? So just, just if you have that opportunity, okay? If you have that opportunity to just think and say, you know what? I have been struggling with thoughts of of just ha of having sex why because this generation is making it seem like it's cool it's fun it's all about pleasuring your flesh it's all about being in the moment right it's all about your lust and what you want but what you fail to realize is you're still going to feel lonely at the end of that that encounter there's still going to be deep and inner issues that you have to deal with sex is not going to solve your problems so don't throw that precious gift away over what you think it oh, over the fact that you think it's going to be a problem solver it's not the only thing that's going to be a problem solver is you digging deep and figuring out what is the root of my issues and going to god about it and digging into his word because the bible says he who seeks shall find so seek him seek him in the bible seek him in his word if you don't know how to start then say god i don't know how to start praying help me to pray help me to feel something help me to pick up the bible and, and help me to understand what i'm reading send me somebody who can help me understand guys there he is just waiting he is just waiting and just the power of sex it is so strong it's so strong and it's meant to be strong in a positive way in marriage but the enemy has found a way to just pervert it through everything through pornography just through these music videos through the lyrics of this music of this music that you hear nowadays it's like and of course you're jamming to it you're feeling it and you're of course you're going to act out in that way because that's what you're feeding yourself you're feeding yourself music that is talking about those things then you wonder why your mood is a certain way or why you're feeling sexual why you're feeling every time you're with your boyfriend or girlfriend you're feeling the heat because what are you feeding yourself what are you feeding you're literally what are you feeding yourself just like people say you are what you eat it's true it's very true in the spiritual sense as well if i'm feeding myself god and god on the daily i'm gonna eat breathe and think god but if i'm feeding myself youtube videos nothing but youtube videos nothing but music videos nothing but pornography or just anything that's just perverted and evil what do you think is going to happen that's going to be my mindset that's going to now be my mask Okay, and I say mask because it's something that God can always make fall off like that. But you have to be willing. You have to come to him. You have to know that you were wrong. You have to repent and you have to say, Lord, help me. I want to honor my virginity or I want to honor you or I want to honor. I want to I want to honor everything that your word says to honor and everything that your word says to keep and what your word says to be. I want to do that. And when you really have that desire God will take that and he will multiply it. He will multiply it by a thousand. If you feel like you don't have, a, 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 if you feel like you don't have a purpose in this life coming from someone who felt like they were nothing. I felt like I was nothing. Nothing at all. Not even, like sometimes I would feel like I didn't want to have kids because I'm like, me, a mother? What do I have to give? Right? What, me? Like, a wife? Or like just just letting the enemy just have a field day with my thoughts but God came in my life and told me you have a purpose it doesn't matter how you look it doesn't matter how you sing how you sound it doesn't matter if you're fat you're skinny you're tall you're short it does not matter God can use you how you are he made you preciously how you are and all he wants you to do is to seek him and you will find the answers to everything I'm just here as a as a tool to get the word out that God loves you and God does have a plan, okay? There is a lots of sex to be had in marriage, lots of it. Like there's nothing you're missing out on, I promise. There is nothing that you are missing out on having sex outside of marriage. I love you guys so much. 
thank you so much if you watched through this whole video and i really really hope that it impacted somebody i really do um i will see you guys in the next video bye